Hi, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add new life to your old gas grill. As you can see, this one's got a few miles on it. I'm going to show you how to fix it up and make it just as good as new. So, a few things you'll need to do this is a bag of new lava rocks. Uh, what I've got is a new grill for the lava rocks. This is the grill that goes underneath the grill that you cook your food on. And this is a new burner. Now there's several different types of burners. You're going to have to check and see which one you have and actually take a measurement on it before you go buy one. I actually picked both of these up fairly cheap at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Now before you do anything as a safety precaution, you want to turn off your propane and actually disconnect and remove the tank. The next thing I'm going to do is actually remove the top and with this one it's just a matter of lifting it into the right position and pulling it apart. The, the hinge actually uh, allows you to disconnect it in that way. And now I'm going to remove the grill. Now this one's mighty dirty. I'm just going to hit this with a, a wire brush and keep this one, use it again. You set it aside for now. All right, next I'm going to remove the lava rocks that are in here. Now I'm going to use a glove to do this because these rocks are pretty greasy. These rocks tend to absorb any grease from the, any meat that you're cooking and this is what actually causes your gas grill to flame up a lot. So I'm going to replace all of this. Last time I did this I just got rid of the greasy ones and reused some of the other ones which you can do but this time I'm just going to replace them all and be done with it. Then once you get down to the grill that was holding your lava rocks, you can take that out. Now, in my case, this one was broken, so I'm just going to replace the whole thing. Yours may still be in good enough shape that you can keep it. And once all the lava rocks and the grate is out, you can usually just lift out the burner. Now, you can see here uh, this this side of the uh, of the, con the connecting tube to the burner actually melted away, which is actually why I'm replacing this burner to begin with. Usually, it connects up with this little hairpin, and I'll show you this a little bit later. This hairpin, this tube connects up, and you put the hairpin through. Again, I'll show you that in a bit. There's actually nothing wrong with this burner other than this melted tube, but I am going to replace the whole burner anyway, just to show you how it all fits together. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I've got all the big chunks out of there, I've got the burner out of there. I'm going to use my shop vac to clean out all the dirt that's in here. Now sometimes there's, there's going to be big piles of grease and ooze in here. You might need a scraper or something like that to get that cleaned out. But in this case, I'm just going to use a shop vac. Now I'm just using some wire cutters and a screwdriver to remove the tabs that are holding the glass plate on the front.
glass plate and we can clean that off. Every gas grill design is slightly different. This one has a little metal clip in each corner that holds the glass panel in place. I'm just going to take them off temporarily while I clean the glass here. Now I just have a regular, this is a putty knife. I'll be using this and a uh, utility knife. Now this is a, a razor blade. So I'll be using the, put, the putty knife and a razor blade to clean all the gunk off of this glass. a wire brush and scrape the outside of the top here get ready for certain fresh paint and now I have some high heat spray paint that I'm going to be using. I suppose some people might go crazy and take the, uh, the bottom off of the base to paint it. I've decided to just mask it off and I'm going to use some cardboard as additional masking here. And I've already, I've already rubbed this down to get rid of any, uh, any bad stuff on the outside. assemble the new burner. Now this has a bunch of holes in it uh, and a bunch of hardware. It's actually fairly simple to put together. 
Now again, you're going to need to have the proper burner for the size gas grill that you have. You can probably take a look at the one that you have currently and use that as a gauge to figure out what you need to do for this one, what, what size you need to get for this one. So you've got some gaskets that go on here. Now they have they have two of these connecting hoses which are flexible and you can also extend them and you need to figure out which location these need to go on. Is it here or is it here? And I've actually got to take a look at the old one right now to see. All right, and I need to put mine in the middle. So that means I'm going to be putting, ah, here we go. Be putting these blank plates right here and here. Alright, so I've got the blank plates on with those gaskets. The gaskets are just the same. I don't know if this is wool or what they're using as their gasket material. But just put these on right here. And usually this this kit comes with self-tapping screws. holes already pre-drilled, which makes it fairly simple. And then once you have the hoses on, you need to put these feet on. Now these feet are going to need to be oriented either this way or this way or maybe even this way, depending on how your how the base of your gas grill is set up. And I'll take a look in a minute. Right now I'm just going to put them in temporarily. Just kind of loosely on here. <clears throat> now this one also comes with what they call a burner securing stud. Which looks like what it does is it keeps the burner secure in place. So what I need to do is remove one of the screws on this and put this right in here. And then this, once the burner is in place, this goes on here, and the wing nut tightens tightens it down to keep keep the uh, keep the burner in place. All right, now I flipped the gas grill over here for the benefit of the camera. Uh, I just wanted to point out what it is that I put in put on there on that burner. This metal bracket here with the threaded piece that comes up and the wing nut on it are what holds the burner from falling out if the burner flips over. Uh, probably not necessary but it sure helps for making this video. So uh, anyway, uh, next I'm going to be showing you how to attach these. Uh, they go onto the manifold which is right over here and I'm going to put the cam camera on the tripod to to show that to you. All right, <clears throat> camera's on the tripod now. <clears throat> so I know it's a little dark, but these connect up to some little brackets on the back of the manifold here. Now this is this is the gas regulator that connects up to your gas tank, your propane tank. The hose comes down and it goes to the two valves on the front. Sometimes you have three or four valves on the front of your gas grill. Um, usually there's one hose per, 
per valve on the gas grill. These connect onto that with these little hairpin clips. So I'm just going to pull this out a little bit, connect it on there, and put the hairpin on there, and do the same thing to the other side. Pull it out a little bit, put it on there, and sometimes these hairpin clips can be a bit of a bugger to get on there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do that the other way. Okay, just like that. That holds it in place, keeps it on there. These little fins here allow air to come in as the gas is going through the through the little hole in here, it shoots through this tube and pulls some air along with it, which is what gives you the oxygen for the combustion. All right. So now we have the new burner in place. It's connected up underneath. And I've got my new rack that I'm going to put in here, which will support our new lava rock. It's a little bit undersized by two inches or so, but we don't cook a whole lot more than it, just in the center here anyway. Now, instead of lava rock, what I have is these ceramic briquettes, which are the same thing as lava rock, really. It's just a different, different form. The object with these is to keep the keep the grease off of the burner and it's a, a cheap thing to replace once they get saturated with grease we can just throw them away and get some different ones And now I'm going to clean out the inside of the cover. I probably should have done this before I painted the outside. I'm just going to go over it with a scraper here and then hit it with the, with the chalk vac and get all the particles out of the top and call it done. And then the last thing I'm going to do with the top here is to put this piece of glass back in place. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. But we are humans. We can overcome difficult obst obstacles. And the last step, we turn on the gas and light it up and see how she works.
just like new or, or well, used anyway. <laughs>